Okay, so I'm going to do an experiment today. We are going to see how well an HP and a Dell 3080 mines compared to your normal like Zotac card. I just got all three of these cards off of eBay and haven't tested a single one. So I figured why don't we plug them all three in and let's see, you know, if there's one that's bad or if they're all good, what the deal is. I see so many people like, stay away from the HP and Dell 3080s, they're horrible. So let's just see if that's true. Okay, so let's see if this baby's gonna boot up. All right, got power to all three cards. Got the Dell, the Zotac, and the HP. Let's see how these babies perform. So they're all running on this 1200 watt HP power supply, but it's on 110, so it's limited to 900 watts right now. All three of those cards are pulling about 820 watts, including the Bitcoin ASIC fans right there on the front that pull about 30 watts. So that's right on par with their 240 watt uh, for Ethereum. So that's really good for those three cards. Okay, so as you can see, I got the Hurlitt Packard one right here. Um, they're all at 1060, 2000, two, uh, and 240. So 1060 core, 2000 mem, 240 on the power limit. And uh, as you can see, I'm getting about 98.08 out of the HP. The Dell, I'm getting 98.08. And the Zotac is getting 97.94. So they're basically all the same. Uh, they were all at 98.33, uh, but it, I just clicked refresh and you can see how it's changing. So um, if you look over here though, this is where things get really interesting. Now the Hurlitt Packard, the HP, has got the worst core temp at 66 degrees but it's got 82 degree mem temp, so that's awesome. Uh, this could be due to, uh, this has been repatted by the eBay seller, so it could be due to on a thermal paste or the wrong size pads, but that's still not a problem. And it's, you know, 85 degrees in this room that they're being tested in, so it's not a cold room. Uh, the Dell, you can see the Dell is just absolutely wonderful. 53 degrees on the core temp and 80 on the memory. Um, I absolutely love these Dells, man. I don't know why, but after you repad them and repaste them, they run ice cold. And especially if you put a little bit of, of air blowing over them, they love it. So I uh, really do love those Dells. And you can see the Zotac right here at 90C and uh, 45 degree on the core. So should you or should you not buy, you know, Dell or HP for mining? Well, you know, I don't know how well the VRMs are built or, you know, if these have really good, you know, VRMs or, or not. But I can tell you from experience and I've had a couple Dells now for about two or three months, uh, I'd say three months, and I have had zero issues with it. So I had to continue to buy more. Um, this HP doesn't seem to be doing too bad. I'll tell you guys how this goes down the road in a couple months, but I'm not staring away from buying Dells or HPs. Uh, just because you know they come in a pre-built um, doesn't mean that they won't mine good and all of mine are mining awesome so I have no problems with these and I will continue to buy them so my recommendation yeah they're awesome I have no problems there so I just thought I would do a little video on this uh, like I said in the beginning of this video have not seen so many people say steer away from these Dells or steer away from these HPs but if you can get them at a good price, I don't see why not. If you guys have any uh, major warnings of why you should stay away from these, let me know. But I'm just not seeing it. So, alrighty guys, until next time.